frustrating was it just to have to miss the last couple of weeks here? No, it's never fun. Um, you know, especially uh, when things are not going the way that you want. Um, that's you know, it's always the worst. Uh, you know, to not be able to to be out there and and do what you can at those times. But it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, we were at the end of the year and and uh, in the situation we were in. And uh, you know, for me personally, there was there was no point in in risking anything. Uh, you know, moving into the summer. Can you speak more to, I guess, what your injury uh, was? No. Is it, well, can you say, is it a nothing. groin, ankle, nothing no. related to all injuries? No. Oh. no. And it, it's nothing bad. Uh, you know, as I said, if we were in a different situation, it probably wouldn't have been an issue. But being where we were, uh, you know, for the first time in my career, I, I put myself first. Is there any uh, consideration of going to the World Championships with you know what you're dealing with, or that's out the picture then, probably? No, I haven't really uh, made that decision yet. I've been in contact with uh, you know the the coach in Sweden and and uh, the federation there, but uh, you know we'll probably come to a decision here in the in the next week or so. So, Eric, how do you see this past season in a summary? You know, well, uh, it's been uh, so so. I think you know. It's been mediocre at best. Uh, I don't think it's been, uh, you know, horrible, but I don't think it's been, uh, you know, nearly as good as, as, you know, we expect from ourselves. Uh, so it's been a challenging and a tough year, but, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, it's the start of a process and, and hopefully we can come back next year with, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, what do you call it? Uh, can't find the word for it. Anyways, I hope that uh, you know it was a, it was a building block. Uh, I think uh, you know, as I said, it was a tough year for everyone. Uh, it's not where we want to be. Uh, you know, as, as I said, I don't think it's 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 uh, you know terrible at any means. But at the same time, uh, you know, we don't want to stand here right now and and uh, answer these questions. You know, one of the things I guess that had been an issue this season was the offense. And do you think going forward, I mean, barring injuries and, and other stuff that also played a big role, uh, do you, how important do you think it is to maybe add more offense into the next season? No, we ha we have to we have to score more goals. That's uh, I think no matter what team you are, you always want to score more goals. We uh, unfortunately need to uh, if we want to get to where we want to go. And uh, in order to do that, you know, we have to. Uh, we have to play better hockey and we have to play, you know, uh, in a way where, uh, you know, we create more chances because uh, you're not going to score on them all. But if you only get four or five a game, then, uh, you know, it's going to get tough to, to score, uh, you know, three plus goals, uh, which in the league today, as is, if you looked, uh, that's what you're going to need. Uh, scoring is up somehow a lot. And, uh, you know, more guys and more teams are scoring, scoring way more goals than, than you did in the past. So that's just the way that uh, the game is moving. I mean, you think you we're gonna have to bring another forward in the in the lineup for the next season, or that's uh, not my department. Is it important to 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 go to a more aggressive system? I mean, Bob went to the one one three there for just to try to limit goals against. But from your perspective, is it important to to try to add depth so you can be more aggressive as far as trying to create chances? I guess. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I think I've played every system that is physically possible to play in hockey, unless someone comes up with a new one. Uh, so, <clears throat> I mean, it's 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 not all about that. I think you know, at the end of the day, it's it's uh, you know the guys that play the game. Uh, if if we don't do a good enough job to to realize what we need to do in in certain situations and and create that for ourselves, it doesn't matter what people tell you off the ice. Uh, it's not going to make a difference. So. Um, I think at the end of the day, uh, you know, the onus is going to be on the players to 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 make it work and and to figure it out. And, and we didn't do that this year. Yeah, I'm just curious how the, the direction of the team will be with the new uh, general manager, or how do you any kind of you know, curious to see how that plays out. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, you know. Uh, that type of change hasn't happened here in a long time, so I don't really know how uh, how that will go over, or how it will work. Uh, but you know, usually when uh, when new people come in at, at positions like that, you know things are going to change, and, and you know, quite frankly, things are going to have to change. Oh, you mentioned that a uh, possible change with the new GM. If the new GM comes up to you and asks why Bob Wigner and his staff should be here next year, you know, what would you say? Uh, yeah, that's a good question, and uh, and again, not something that uh, I'm I'm going to share with you guys because 
um, you know, I think that I've had a good relationship with the whole coaching staff all year. And, and you know, what's uh, been said between us is, is going to stay between us. And, and again, I'm not going to tell anyone anything different than I haven't told them. Tariq, what are you looking to work on during the summer, you know, for the next season? Uh, a lot of things, as always. Um, you know, uh, I think I've said this in the past. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, a longer off season can be beneficial for you. Uh, fortunately, we've had three in a row now, uh, which is not ideal. But uh, again, you, you're going to have enough time to, uh, you know, really work on things, and, and you're just going to make sure that you utilize that time uh, uh, to the best of your ability. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward to do. So. Uh, you know, I got a lot of time to, to sort a lot of things out and work on a lot of things. And, and you know, hopefully come uh, September, October, I'll, uh, you know, be better than ever before. You, you mentioned uh, that this season wasn't all that bad. What are some of the positives uh, you're looking at for this season? No, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of things, I think. Uh, I mean, if you look at the standings, we're, we're not at the bottom, we're not at the top. Uh, uh, you know, I do think that uh, we have the qualities uh, in there to uh, to be a lot better than we have. Why we haven't, I don't really have the answer to that. Uh, I don't think anyone really does right now. If we did, we would have sorted that out a long time ago. But, um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we, we should be optimistic about the future. And I think that coming in next year, I think we know what the expectations are here. And, and uh, I think that, uh, you know, with ownership that we have, uh, you know, we're going to have, uh, you know, every possibility to reach that. And, and uh, as I said, again, it's going to be up to the guys whether we do it or not. The team got off to a pretty good, uh, pretty quick start there. Uh, would you say that that was the best stretch of hockey uh, that you guys have played over the, the three over the last three years uh, in the last first two months or so of the season? Yeah, again, I think that everybody, you know, last summer utilized, you know, the long off season to their advantage and, and we all came in ready to play. I think that showed. I think, uh, you know, we started falling off as, as you know, uh, other teams started to figure out things that we did. not And, uh, you know, we got to find a way to uh, be a little bit more consistent. Uh, again, I think that we have, you know, enough guys that's been around long enough to, to make that work and, and, you know, have the young guys uh, being able to, uh, you know, have the process that they need to, uh, to do to get to where they want to go. Uh, so, again, uh, you know, I'm expecting everybody again to, to be excited this off season to come back to work next year and and you know be ready for the season to to begin and and hopefully uh, uh, you know we can learn from this year and, and then find some more consistency in our game. It seems like two of the biggest themes of the season were that the team is much closer and tighter together than it was in the past couple of seasons, but then also there weren't enough goals. Yeah, and it seems like. The one guy that's not here was sort of tied to both of those things. I just wonder what you, now that that's over, what do you think of like how the team chemistry improved, but you also don't have enough goals? Yeah, I mean, I, I again, uh, you know, we, we're not playing a sport where, uh, you know, one guy can can make it or break it for you. Uh, we're all part of everything. And, and uh, you know, I don't think that he was the source for, uh, uh, you know, any really, like it shouldn't really affected us uh, the way that it did. And, you know, obviously it turned out the way that it did this year. And, and you know, everybody's talking about how everything, uh, you know, chemistry wise is better. Um, so again, I don't think that uh, it's full onus on, on just Kaner leaving and, you know, us figuring it out. I think it's on all of us. I think we made a, you know, conscious effort this year to, uh, to try and you know, be a little bit tighter and play a little bit different for each other. And, and uh, you know, that was one of our goals, and that's one of the ones that uh, we succeeded with. Unfortunately, you know, it didn't take us uh, where we wanted to go, which is, you know, to be in the playoffs.